Hey, so uh, welcome to a brief introduction to Scratch for Second Life. Let's um, bring it up right now. So if you've downloaded it, you should be able to open it up. Looks a little bit like this. Now let's try to get it uh, alongside our Second Life screen. So I'm just going to um, make that a little smaller and then bring my uh, Scratch for Second Life window up alongside of it. So now they're kind of next to each other like that. Okay, so now first thing I'm going to do is show you just quickly how to make a magic jumping beam. So I'm going to switch to Second Life Build Mode and just drop a sphere on the ground. So I just go up here, click on that ball, and then drop it on the ground. There we go. Okay, so now we switch over to Scratch for Second Life. And I'm going to say uh, when I tell the ball to jump, it'll jump. So first I'm going to need uh, this up block, and I'll just drag that out onto the scripting area. I'll say go up three meters, I can just type right in there, and then uh, we'll have it go up and then go down three meters, so it's kind of a little jump up and down. And um, I have to decide when that's going to happen, so I need to go over to my control blocks, and I'll say when I receive, when I receive what? Well, I'll be able to type a chat message, and I'll say when I receive jump is when that's going to trigger. So now I have a complete script. So what I'm going to do is copy and paste this into the scripting window for my uh, sphere over there in Second Life. So I just click Copy Linden Script. So now the script is on my clipboard. I'm going to go over here to my object and click on the content pane. Click New Script. Okay. Now I've got a new script here. I double click on that to open it up. And now I'm going to select everything in there. So I can do that with uh, Command A or I can just highlight everything. And I'm going to oops, get everything selected there. Okay and I'm going to delete that, and now I'm going to hit Command-V to paste. Okay, now you can see the script pasted in there. I just click Save, make sure that's saved, so we'll give it a few seconds. Okay, it says down here, uh, Save Complete. Great, so I'll just close that window. And now, I'll switch out of build mode, and I'll go over to my chat window here, and let's just type Jump. And, oh, the ball goes up and down, pretty cool. Uh, let's just see that one more time. Nice. Um, so now, you know, we might want to say it should wait a little bit between when it goes up and when it goes down. There's a wait block here. We could also, use, you know, have it make a sound using the play sound block. Um, we could have it sense, you know, so it jumps automatically when someone's nearby. Uh, use your imagination. You can do all kinds of cool stuff with Scratch for Second Life. Um, well, that's all for now. Thanks.